it's Cyber Monday over there. Fantastic. So that does mean we will get maybe something to buy cheap. Um, so first of all, I will be standing the entire challenge, which means you will see me walking around and dancing all the time. But second of all, I already did a little scan of this environment or of this uh, challenge, if you want. And it looks like there is a web server. So I, since this challenge is called Cyber Monday and I didn't seem to find really any name. I'm just giving it the name cybermonday.htb, my host finds, because that's how I do it with all of my hack the box machines, cybermonday.htb. And of course I have to specify that we're going over HTTP so that my browser gets it. Perfect. What do we have here? We have welcome, which I think is the site we are on. We have products, which is uh, ooh, the keyboard, the Keychron keyboard. It's the one that I actually have. What are the odds? I mean, yeah, I've replaced like the ESC keycap with the Majora's Mask keycap. So we can escape the terrible fate. But other than that, I think it's the same keyboard. It may be even... No, I think it's the smaller one, but that that's a bit too small for me. Anyway, um, nice to see my keyboard featured in this web shop. It's using red switches while I'm using blue switches. So do with that information what you want. We have a gamer headset or a headset gamer and we have a monitor 60 hertz 4K. So a 60 hertz monitor. Why is all... Why is everything written in Weavers? Why is it a headset gamer that you can buy for 50 bucks and not the gamer headset? Are you like getting a fully fledged gamer with a headset on the headset gamer? So let's take a look at the home page first. Maybe we have something that we can enter in here. Now we're looking for a way to enter into the server. Maybe we have some template injection as we saw last time. Maybe we have XSS. A local file inclusion. It's a challenge that's rated as hard by the community. So it shouldn't be like pretty easy and uh, the first thing that we spot on the website. So let's take a quick glance at what we've got. Sales. We do great sales in the summer. 100% reliable and fast delivery. Okay, I was hoping for a 100% discount, but okay. Technical support, 24-7, respond as soon as possible within 30 minutes. Okay, I mean, maybe that may be relevant if, if this challenge includes uh, like some form of phishing attack or something like that. Then this 30 minutes may become relevant, but I'm not gonna stand here and wait for 30 minutes. What are we? Um, media inquiries. We are always well acclaimed in the media. We deliver and the product is perfect. Blah, blah, blah. We have frequently asked question. We deliver products within 10 days. Okay. I'm hoping that I don't have to really order a product to my house and uh, get it for this challenge. But is my data safe here? Yes, we have cybersecurity team taking care of our infrastructure. I highly doubt that. We will get all the customer data and hack into your system and then you are not safe anymore. That's our goal for today. Did you like our store? Register here to start shopping. Okay, um, this leads us to sign up. We also have a login and we are gonna log in with our most favorite email address, which is admin or one equals one and maybe it doesn't like uh, it doesn't have an ad yeah yeah this connection is not secure i know firefox okay sign in okay so it doesn't look like this is working let's sign up instead let's do first le let's try with like an exploratory account or should we already try to pollute and uh, this thing maybe let me zoom in so you can see it on the smaller screens so if you're on mobile you should be able to see at least something hi hello glad to see you if you're watching this via mobile so now that you're able to see what the heck is actually going on um let's try to log in or sign up so let's first start with like an easy pc lemon squeezy username and if we can't find any entry point we can still try to re-register with a username that's like an exploit like i don't know script alert blah 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 but for now we're going with Zenit and the password is gonna be let's uh, just pick this securely generated which is now saved 
and update it. Perfect. So yeah, let's log in. Perfect. Remember me. Perfect. We are in. Now we are in the what I like to call exploratory phases where we are just taking a look at what the hell we have right here in front of us. So mostly that's like what does the website do? Maybe let's make it a little bit smaller so we can actually see something on the screen big screen as well. All right, let's explore this website. Now, first of all, we have like this profile thing. We can view the profile. We can change stuff in the profile, including the username. We have the products again. We have home, which is this new tab that we are into right here. Now, what is going on over here? We have the possibility to request a refund. Doesn't seem to work. Benefits, schedule order, make payment, support orders, blah, blah, blah. All right. Okay. So it doesn't seem to be anything special so far. Maybe we have to do something at checkout. Um, let's just take a quick look over here. Um, actually, before we do all that, let's uh, open up Burp Suite so we can like inspect the traffic later on. Why, why didn't I start it up in the first place? Untrusted application launch and <laughs> launch anyway. Let's check out if it works. Do we have something in the HTTP history? Yes, we do. And now we can take a closer look at what we got here um, to find out what kind of web server are we using. And um, as soon as I said that, I see over here we have Nginx 125 and we have php 81 perfect uh, now let's do a quick checkout <clears throat> let's buy this keyboard which i actually have the bigger version of and buy nothing happens now let's take a quick look maybe we can maybe it suffers from idor basically it does but i don't think it, this is a bad one what happens with 4 404 all right we have this 404 not found website does this come from a framework or something like that? It looks like we have Tailwind going on or something similar to Tailwind at least according to this CSS classes not found. Yeah, not sure what framework this is. Maybe if it's PHP, it's going to be a lot of L or something like that. We will see it later down the line. But yeah, okay. I, I think we have done a first recon quite easily okay now we get 404s all the way and um, we've done a quick recon part now it's time to check out what's happening behind the scenes maybe there's something hidden usually it is in some ctf environment uh, or you know what maybe we can find out for example image link where is this hosted all right let's Try this one. Okay, this didn't work. Let's try it here. Okay, it looks better than before. We may have some issues with the paths. Nginx of vulnerability. Maybe it's just a path traversal, alias traversal. Okay, this sounds interesting. Okay, so we can have location and alias directives. Yeah, we can say if it's an exact match, case sensitive. So the modifier in here, usually I don't think people use the modifier because they're too confused as to what they mean. Then we have here is an example of how to use location direct directive. We have location assets. Oh, -ho. so basically like we have and it just maps the request to the asset folder. Now, if it's configured like this, it looks like it allows, it resolves the path anyway and so we can add the point point so uh, we have we are doing a, a a bit of guessing but it's uh, how do you say that an educated guess so that we can possibly get some file or source code even you know what let's check out if we have an index dot okay so this doesn't seem to work for some reason, maybe if we do it, curl assets x.php not found. All right, you know what? Why, why, why am I doing that by hand? Which fuzzing tools do I have a call? What was it? Cybermonday.htb and then we have HTTP. Cybermonday.htb slash assets dot dot slash fuzz. Let's clean this up a little bit or let's just run it i don't care wait we are using the wrong list i don't want dns things i want what's it called use a share 
checklist, discovery, and now what do we want to look for? I'm pretty sure we want to look for some web content. What's inside the web content? A lot of stuff. So let's just go with the first one, most common thing. I think it's called common. Yeah, let's go with the common one. What's the PWD web content? Let's go in here. Let's just paste it in here and then let's do the common.txt and then run it. Look at that. Would you, would you look at that? Now I'm in the way, so you can't look at it, but can you see that there is like a Git thing over there? So we found a Git repository or a database config. Okay. This sounds interesting. Now the requests with a 200 response seem to be the more, more interesting ones which we're gonna take a look at in the next video.